Hi. I'm going to show people how to make um, mono eyes for shrimp and for crab flies. Um, the things you're going to need are some epoxy, either clear goo, five minute epoxy, whatever you want to use, um, some nail polish, or a permanent marker. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do it both ways. A pair of scissors, obviously, to cut the mono. This is just the the top of a pump bottle of water, um, and that's what I put the epoxy in to, to help me do the eyes. So um, the way I'm going to show you, obviously, is with UV glue. Um, the same would apply for five minute epoxy. The only difference is with the five minute epoxy, you're going to have to um, rotate the eye in either a rotisserie type thing for the epoxy to dry or by hand. Uh, obviously the other thing we're going to need is a flame to uh, to melt the eyes. So what I'm using here is actually about 40 pound mono uh, and the reason obviously is so you can see it on the video. If I use anything thinner I don't think you're going to see it. So first thing to do is to um, melt the end of the the mono so just with the flame don't hold the mono in there or it'll just continue to burn right so what we want is just in and out until you get uh, a bit of a ball on the end of the of the mono like that okay so that's all we need so I'm going to do two as I said I'm going to do one with the permanent marker which is going to be clear with a pupil inside it and then the other one that's just going to be a solid color Okay, so let me just burn the end of this one. So just moving it in and out of the flame so it doesn't actually catch fire is the is the way to go. So there you go, there's the other one there. All set. So let them cool before you do anything with it. Okay, so the next step, the first one I'm going to do is the one with the permanent marker. So it's going to be a black pupil inside a clear eye. So if I get this and this is just a prisma color so it's a double ended um, marker and then I'm just going to color the burnt mono piece um, to, to uh, make it black um, and then I'll dip that in the epoxy in a second so whatever color you want uh, the colors that I use most are black brown red uh, and green uh, is another one okay so I've colored that one so the other one I've got here I'm not going to color I'm just going to dip it straight in the epoxy so the next step is um, so just put a little bit of the epoxy into the um, into the lid All right, like that pull that back so we don't have stuff going everywhere so this is the one I, I did in black so what I do Let's get the mono eye and just dip it into the epoxy that I've put in into here and let it rotate a little bit. All right, so hopefully you can see that has dipped in. You can see the black through the, the through the epoxy. So just twirl it so you get it nice and even, and then just hit it with the UV torch. All right. So that's the first one done. So that's hard. Um, so that's clear, um, but with a black pupil inside it, you can just see the black there. So the next one I'm going to do is going to be to start off with clear. So same thing, I'm just going to dip it into the epoxy. Alright, rotate it. So we get a nice even coverage. So you can see that, I'll just rotate it upside down so we get to the, the shape we want. Hit it with the torch while I rotate and that'll set the whole thing off. Now be careful you don't shine your torch into your lid because that'll just make the epoxy go hard and you won't be able to use it for anything. So the next step for this one, because this is going to be a solid colour dye, is to give it a coat of nail polish. Okay. And you don't want it to go on too thick or it'll drip down the stem of the um, of the eye okay so there you go that's that one that's going to be a solid color 
Now once that's dry, you can give it a, another coat of either clear nail polish or a thin coat of epoxy. I usually go with a thin coat of epoxy because it doesn't yellow, whereas the clear nail polish after a while will yellow. Not that it matters on black, but it will on your reds and it will on some of your lighter colours if you're going for lighter colours. So that's it. Let that dry. There you've got it. And then, um, you know, you just tie that in one either side of whatever it is you're creating and you've got shrimp eyes. Cost you nothing other than a couple of bits of mono and a little bit of material. Uh, the other good thing with the clear goo is what I've got left in that I can just suck straight back into the syringe so I'm not actually wasting any. That's it. Thanks all.